a cup of tea with the United Nations. A chance for Denise and her son Michael to tell the UN's expert on poverty what it's like to live with very little. They've struggled since the introduction of Universal Credit, the government's new benefit system. I hope that it actually gets sorted out so people can start to live the way that you're meant to live. What's it like to live in poverty? Terrible. Stressful. It sounds horrible, it's like being in the war times. It just where there's like nothing, pretty much. For the next two weeks, Philip Alston is touring some of the UK's poorest towns and cities as he puts together a report on the rising levels of poverty. He's here in Newcastle today because this is the busiest food bank in the country. Every year it's feeding more than 40,000 people. Mr Alston's visits attracting international attention. Journalists here today from the New York Times. Last week, the UK was used as a political advert by the Republican Party in the US elections as an example of extreme social decay. In Newcastle today, hope that Mr Alston's report will make a difference. I hope that he goes away with a lot of information and a lot of knowledge and be able to put it all to good use in order to help the people who are finding themselves deprived and in a hardship situation. But with some describing this visit as a political gimmick, what can it really achieve? If you're trying to draw attention to human rights problems, yes, it's a political gimmick, yeah, sure. If people are being tortured, you say they're being tortured, is that a political gimmick? If people are living uh, existences that are not satisfying basic minimum standards, is that political? Everything's political at a certain level, but the politics of human rights are decency and dignity and respect for the human person. Are you shocked to hear from the mother and son what they're going through, that you know they've been waiting months for universal credit? The welfare system and so on is difficult to get right, but it's important then to identify the key issues that could be improved. That's what it's about. This is not to say the UK is doing shockingly and uh, things ought to be done totally differently. It, it is how can you improve the system. Philip Alston says he hopes the government is ready for proper dialogue over the human consequence of austerity cuts. He'll report his findings to the Human Rights Council next June. Katie Cole, ITV News, Newcastle.